Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on Beginners Java. <coughs> this is uh, part one and in this section I'm going to explain how to set up your computer to write programs and run them. What you're going to have to do is download a Java editor. I use Eclipse, I think it is a very good program and I recommend it. What you're going to have to do to get it is go to Google and then type download Eclipse it should be the first one uh... now depending on what uh... operating system you have you can choose windows linux or max os uh... and what you're gonna have to do is choose eclipse ide for java ee developers and download that for whatever version of the os you have follow the standard uh... installation procedure and once that's done open it up For select a workspace, uh, usually the default's OK, so I recommend you just clicking OK. If you want, you can s uh, choose a desktop workspace so you can sort of organize your files and see where everything is. Now, um, this package explorer should be empty when you open it. Mine isn't, as I have already made several projects. To create a new project uh, all you have to do is click new Java project or project Java project. Now you can name the project anything you wish I'm just gonna call it uh, video tutorial. Now you can see here there's a tab called video tutorial or whatever you've named your project. Open that up, then right click on SRC, new, class. What a class is, is basically a program within your project. So a project uh, could encompass many programs. Your project could be, uh, for example, a calculator and within that you would have several programs written to you know test out your um, various parts of the calculator perhaps test uh, an experiment with graphical user interfaces and all that you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it test now remember in the name section you can't have any spaces or you see here type name is not valid the Java type name must not start or end with a blank uh, it also can't include any blanks. It's um, you can't have underscores or hyphens or any of that. So I'm just going to call it test uh, class. Under which method stubs would you like to create? Just uncheck inherited abstract methods. That's more advanced. And go to public static void main string args. Now you're going to be able to start your programming. What uh, what this actually does is take something that you understand in a language that you understand and it converts it to binary code which the computer understands. Basically what you're typing here is what you want the computer to do. A very simple um, program which you could start off with is the hello world program. You type system with a capital S because it's an object and object starts with capitals. I'll explain that more, uh, in more detail uh, in one of my later videos system dot out now you're telling the system to output something dot print now you're telling the system to print something out then open bracket speech mark hello world close speech marks now remember that anything you type within these two blue uh, speech marks will appear in the console in the system. Um, also, you need to end every single line of your programming with a semicolon. It's basically the full stop of the programming language. Now, if we run this using this button right here, um, it will enter hello world into the system or into the console which we're using. Thank you for uh, watching part 1 of my video tutorial. If you wish to advance further, click on part 2.